I'm starting today in the Zocalo, which is kind of the main square of the city. It's in the Centro Historico and was also the main square of the ancient Aztec city of Tenochtitlan. But it's surrounded by a lot of the government buildings. Over here is the National Palace. And then here is the cathedral, so we're going to go in there today. And there's just so much around this area, so we're going to have a little walk around and I'll take you along with me. I would definitely recommend spending some time in this area. You can do free walking tours either with the hostel or I've done one before with a different organization I just gave them a tip. Um, but there's just so much history to learn about. I've already been here before so I'm just going to do it alone today. But um, there's just a lot that you can learn. Also, there's a lot of hotels and hostels in the area. I would recommend either uh, Hostel Mundo Joven, which is right here behind the cathedral. It's got an amazing view. Or Casa Pepe, which is also super, super awesome. So I just went into the cathedral and they said um, it's okay to take photos but no videos. So um, it's just absolutely beautiful and I definitely recommend doing it. It's right here in the Zocalo and it's completely free so it should definitely be a stop when you're in the Central Historico. So literally right beside the cathedral in the Zocalo is the ancient ruins of the Templo Mayor, which uh, the Aztecs believed was the center of the universe. So a lot of this has actually been excavated from underneath the city. And one interesting fact about Mexico City is that it actually sinks a little bit every day because the original city of Tenochtitlan was built on top of a lake and then Mexico City was built on top of that. And again, this is also completely free to the public. So now I'm in a really, really cool part of the Centro Historico. All these people behind me are actually scribes. So like you can come to them and have them write letters for you if you don't know how to read or write. It really is a look into Mexico City's past. So as you can see, there's just so many historical buildings, museums, um, all kinds of amazing stuff here in the Centro Historico. I just found another um, sort of museum, and again, it's free entrance just for the education of the public. I'm not going to go in because I have a million things on my list to do today, but uh, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff to do and a lot of it's free. So I'm back over by the Zocalo now, that's the cathedral behind me, and I'm just going to head straight down Cinco de Mayo Avenue towards the uh, Palace of Fine Arts, and there's a couple of stops we're going to make along the way. Also, I just saw tons and tons and tons of riot police, so I don't know if there's anything special going on. I did ask him in my broken Spanish what's going on. He said, oh, nothing, just for security. Um, but maybe there's something going on in the Zocalo. There are usually demonstrations or concerts or different things going on, so maybe that's why. La plaza, la plaza de la óptica, 
This is the House of Tiles. It's just known for its beautiful facade. It was originally built as a palace, but now there's a restaurant and some shops inside. So now I'm in the Postal Palace, which has to be the most beautiful post office I've ever seen in the world. It's been functioning for over 100 years, and again, another free thing that you can do in this city. So we are here, the Piste de Resistance. This is one of my favorite buildings in Mexico City. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's called the Palacio de Bellas Artes, which is the Fine Arts Palace. And they have shows like operas, ballets, musical performances, and they also have a lot of art on display inside. Okay, so just across from the Fine Arts Palace is the Sears building. I'm gonna go in, get on the elevator, and go up to, I think it's the ninth floor, and there's a little cafe overlooking um, the little park in front of the palace. And I think it has one of the best views in Mexico City, so we're gonna go up there and have a coffee. So I'm just having a walk through this little park next to the Fine Arts Palace now. Um, it's just kind of a nice little stroll. There were some clowns performing back behind me. Um, lots of little street food, um, kids playing in the fountains, it's just real cute. Mexico City actually has some of the greenest spaces I've ever seen of any large city of this size. One of the areas of the city um, called the Bosque de Chapultepec, it's actually, I mean, Bosque is forest, so park forest, I don't know, but it's three times the size of Central Park. New York. <laughs> Everyone says New York. So I just found this little like market at the end of the park and I got some elotes, which is one of my favorite Mexican street foods. It's corn with um, mayonnaise and cheese in it. It <laughs> sounds a little strange and I'm not a fan of corn in general, but it's actually really, really, really good. So excited. So I'm just on the other side of the Fine Arts Palace and this is the last stop I'm going to make today and it's probably somewhere you wouldn't expect to see in the, in the Centro Historico. Chinatown. melting pot. It's been influenced by so many different cultures. Tacos al Pastor actually came from Lebanese influence, which is why it's cooked on the rotisserie like a kebab. So that's all for today. I'm going to head back to the metro, but first I wanted to give you an idea of how much I spent today. I ate breakfast at home and then I went to the metro, which was five pesos, around a quarter, and then I didn't spend anything. 
until I got to the Sears Tower. Um, I spent $5 on my coffee and uh, cheesecake, and then I bought elotes. That was just over a dollar, about a dollar fifty. So I am going to take the metro again, so that's another 25 cents, and then I'm going to have dinner at home. So all in all, a day out in Mexico City in under $10. <laughs>